In the last tutorial, we took a look at some of the configuration links that you can put in here, or configuration PHP um, tags. For example, things like language, um, direction, let's see, this one really popular, echo this base URL, um, and then you have to do templates, and then going into the template um, name that you put right there. Um, let's see, another one here is site name, and that's pretty common. Um, and then I guess that's really all that I'm showing. The rest of the stuff is pretty much just using base URL and template URL. And these are very, very common to use. You will find many more of these in the documentation about Joomla, but you definitely want to use them because they are very effective. Now, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different in this next tutorial. We're going to be looking at um, instead of using the built-in configuration links, we're going to be creating our own page parameters. So this is really about um, page parameters. And for example, let's take a look at our new index file. This is our new template file. And I've got a few new things here. For example, I've got, I'm going to get a page parameter for a CSS file. And I have a new bit of PHP right here that says echo this parameter, get the layout parameter and use the value right there. Another one that I have here, and this is very common, I'm creating a variable for something called color, and I'm using the parameter that is the color variation parameter, and you'll see where those are in just a minute. And then here is where I'm using that variable color um, to replace that page parameter. And let's see, I think that's really about it that I'm using. Oh yeah, I've got a Google Analytics code down here as well. This is a very common one. And all I'm doing is echoing a value for the Google Analytics ID. And that Analytics ID is going to be set in my um, template details um, page parameters. In order to add this stuff, what you do is you amend your template details XML file with a new section. This new section is called config and then I have some fields here which are page uh, parameters and then I have a field set called basic and I've got my fields inside that. So here's one, two, and three different fields. Now the first two are just lists where I have three different options. This one has two different options and I have a default, uh, default value as well. The default value should be one of the values, obviously. Um, anyway, um, when you choose one of these values, that will set it so that the template can use that particular value value as the page parameter. This other one right here is a text area, and that's nice because it allows me to put in whatever I want. Anyway, I've got my three page parameters, and I have already installed my template, and I did that by putting it into the template folder, going to my extension manager and discovering that template, and then installing it. And then I'm in the template manager. I'm going to find that template. Here it is. And I'm going to click on it. And the reason why is I want to go to this Options tab. And here you'll see the page parameters that, that we set up. The first thing is some sort of color variation that I want to set. I'm going to use gray. The other one will be what layout that I'm going to use. Now, the defaults, of course, were white and layout one, so I'm changing them to what I want. And then here um, is my analytics code, and I can change these to whatever I want as well. I can save and close these. And then when I go and refresh my page, I'm going to refresh my code as well, we can see whether or not we're using it. First thing is here is our page parameter for our CSS file, and you can see it is indeed using layout2.css. If I change that, whoops, I need to make sure that I'm doing the right one. Page parameters, go to options, I change this to layout1 instead, save and close. Let me refresh, and you'll see now that says layout1. Now the next part that we have is where we used a variable and you'll see that it's outputting gray as the variable so we could use that class to maybe make the background a certain style. Um, something else that we're using, the Google Analytics code. So if we go down here to the bottom, you'll see we are indeed using our own page parameter for that code. And the rest of it um, just comes directly from Google. So that's a great way of adding something to your um, template so that you can have some configuration um, 
things that you can change or page parameters um, for your template, which is really nice for your users as well because they can say, mm, I just want the white background or I want to use the red coloration, whatever it is, and that can use a whole different CSS file, or you could make it as easy as change your Google Analytics code, and it does all the rest of the code for you. Um, so um, I think that this is a really nice feature of Joomla templates, and I hope that you use them as much as possible. Let's go on to the next tutorial where we are going to work with um, folders and files, more folders and files in Joomla.